craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY. It's mostly Dollar Tree items. Um, the other couple items I use is just if you want to add a little something extra to it. But I found these really beautiful bags at the Dollar Tree when I was there yesterday. And I said, oh my god, these are so pretty. This side has some glitter on it, and this side is just the plain picture. And that was the whole thing. I thought, pretty picture. So I think you can figure out where I'm going with these. And then I also found this one I thought was gorgeous. It has like the little postmark details and stuff at the top, and the pretty butterfly. And then on this side, this one also has the glitter on it. So I thought, wow, these would be great for a DIY. So that is what we're going to be working with today. Um, I don't know about you guys' Dollar Trees, but mine, they have rearranged everything in the stores now. And the larger Dollar Tree that I went to yesterday has at least 10 aisles of just food. So they had all kinds of hostess and tasty cakes and all that kind of stuff and muffins and everything. I was just shocked at how much food they're getting in there now. So if anybody wants to go check them out, they had tons and tons of new stuff, so I'm going to get started here with this project, so let's get to it. Okay, so what you're going to need for this project, I picked up one of these 8x10 frames. It has like a brown frame on it, and I got this one because it was like a, a slightly wider frame than some of the other ones. Um, you're going to need a little bit of white paint if you want to do it this way. I was actually going to try and spray the frame black to see how that would look, and I'm sure it would be gorgeous, but of course it's can't make up its mind whether it's going to rain and snow all day today or what, so I'm not going to bother doing that. I do like doing it with the white paint and then making it more of a distressed look. So you're going to need a little bit of white paint. This is acrylic paint I'm using. Um, I like to use a bigger, fluffier brush for this because you're not going to be putting a lot of paint on here at all. And then of course you're going to need to figure out you know what picture you want to use, whether you want to use the glitter side or the plain side, and I still haven't decided. I kind of really like the glittery side, although this shows up the details a little bit better without the glitter. So, I don't know, we'll decide that when I cut it, go to cut it out and see how it looks in the frame. And, and then a little hot glue. I'm going to be actually putting on some of these little um, like fabric flowers. I think they're paper, actually, but they look like fabric. And these are recollections. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby when they were on sale or on clearance. Because I it was a sticker there. But these are really pretty. So I'm going to be adding some of them, and that's totally optional. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just take everything out of the frame. And these have those nice little clips that just pop right up. So you can take everything out, take out the glass and everything. Hopefully that's, there we go. And then just kind of carefully set that aside somewhere. Okay, and then I'm not going to keep this, but I will keep some of this for padding in here. And then these things are kind of, they're only taped in with one little piece of tape. This is for your hanger. So I'm actually going to go ahead and add some extra tape to these just to make sure they don't come out. I don't think they will, but it's worth a little extra effort here, I think, if you want to keep these nice. Okay. So this I'm probably going to get rid of. We'll see how good it fits without the foam in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and paint the frame and let that dry. And you're not going to need a lot of paint for this. Let me get my glasses on here so I can see. So I'm just going to take some of this and put it in one of my little handy dandy hors d'oeuvre dishes from the Dollar Tree. And then I have a paper towel here that I'm going to use to wipe off most of the paint. So I'm just going to tap it in there, tap some of that off, and then I'm just going to go around the edges like this. Just really lightly. You don't want to use a lot of pressure or anything because we're actually going to even sand a little bit more of this off when we're finished. So just like, just so it looks just about like that, we'll be fine. I'm just going to go around the edge first, that way I can lay it down and do the rest of it without getting it all over my fingers. It's 
really quick. It's really easy to do. And like I said, um, this is what else I use. I have one of these little buffers from the Dollar Tree, and that's actually what I use to do the uh, rest of the distressing with on here. And it works good just because of the, the nice corners on there, and it's not really rough. You know, the buffer's kind of smoother than a regular nail file. All right. So you're going to want to get... Make sure I'm in here. You want to get this inside here a little bit. Not too, too much. And like I said, if you get a little too much on, that's okay, because you're going to sand a little bit of that off when we're done. Because right here I did a little too much. All right. Um, there's a block. Let me get that off there before it dries. I was hoping when I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday that they would have, you know, some more, since they got rid of all the Easter, I was thinking maybe they would give up a lot of the summer stuff, but that's not yet. I guess I'm just in a, too much of a hurry for summer. But they did have out all the graduation stuff already. So, it's getting there. But they just said everything was just rearranged, where all the different um, bowls and things used to be, and like the... Uh, floral stuff, they had moved those aisles over and made them actually a little bit smaller, and those aisles were all food now. I was just surprised at how much stuff. I really didn't have time. Next time I go, I'll just I'm going to take a better look to see what kind of things they have. But I know they have a lot of junk food, that's for sure. Okay, and that's about all you need on there. So I'm just going to set this one aside and let it dry. I already painted one yesterday, and this is what it looks like when it was all finished. It just looks like, you know, it's just distressed a little, like the paint has just peeled off over the years. And you're just going to take like the corner of your um, little buffer here and just, oh, I don't drop it, and just, you know, buff off some of it where you want it to come off. And I like these because it has the corners and you can kind of control it a little better. And that's all I did. I just went around where I felt there was too much paint and then I just took some of it off. And that was it for that. Alright, so now we need to get our bag. Get this paint out of the way. And see which way I want to do this picture. So the first thing you got to do is get your bag to open up. Hopefully this one will open up easy. That would be great. Yay. Okay. So just open that all up. I know the Christmas one's opened up pretty easy like this too, so I was hoping this one was going to cooperate, and it did, so there we go. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. There's even really pretty pictures down the side. That I actually might try to save this paper um, to do in some uh, other crafts. So I'm just going to cut down the side here. these little things off and take those out of there. All right, now I still can't make up my mind. I want to see what this looks like with the glass on it. I'll take my glass carefully, carefully here. Then I'm going to lay this down where I want it to be. And I actually just got paint in here, didn't I? Okay. Oy. Slide this down. I was hoping. Well, you might not see the holes because that might actually go underneath the frame there for the most part. And if so, you know what? I might just put a little piece of paper behind that. So you just kind of want to center this where you want it. And I want to see what it looks like on the 
glitter side. Let me get rid of this paint before I stick my finger back in it again. Alright. So I'm just going to set it down here. You know, I can't make up my mind. I don't know which one I want to use. I kind of like it with the glitter. It really looks pretty. Well, you know what? Let me set my frame here. I think with the um, distressed look, though, I may want to go with just the plain. It might just be a little too fancy here with the glitter. Yeah, actually, I like it better without the glitter for this. All right, so that is what we're going to do. So you're just going to want to figure out exactly where you want it, and then take a pen and keep your fingers away from the edge of the glass as much as you can. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then we're just going to trace around this glass. And if I had a good X-Acto knife, you could probably just go around it with an X-Acto knife and cut it right out, but mine is not very good. Okay. All right. I am going to go ahead and cut that out. Okay. Now that I got it all cut out, I cut out a couple pieces of the blue from the bag, and I just, um, with a glue stick, just put some over the holes, so you really can't even see them now at all. I mean, just a little bit, but it's not going to be very noticeable at all. So I'm just going to take. Try to get some of these creases to lay flat. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my glass back in here. Well, it came out a lot easier than it wants to go back in, that's for sure. Over this one, it's to be really difficult here. Okay, and then we're going to put our picture in. Hopefully, it fits nicely. I'm able to trim it just a tad. Yep. All right, let me just trim a tiny bit off of her. A little bit too snug. So I'm just going to go down the side here. Not too much, just a little. And then I'll just take a little tiny bit off the top. backing stuff back in here. And I want to see if I'm going to need that foam piece or if this is going to hold just fine the way it is. I'm just going to put this piece back in because it's kind of a really heavy cardboard and it'll give it a little more stability I think. So I think we should be fine without it. As long as these things reach down and they seem to be long enough. So there you go. Alright, so I'm not going to put this piece back in. And there is our gorgeous Paris picture. I'm going to get a good shot of this at the end here so you can see it hanging. So now, what I wanted to do just to add a little something to it. I mean, you don't have to do this part, but I'm going to put um, three of these flowers on each corner. Uh, let's see. I have these all organized, and of course they got all messed up here. These on the top, put 
confused down here. Okay. So I'm just going to take my glue gun and just put these little babies on here real quick. So I'm put a big flower in each corner. I just think this looks really cute with it. Just adds a little something to your frame. I mean, you could always, if you wanted to go out and get a, you know, a nicer wooden frame or whatever, but I just want to try to do this mostly Dollar Tree items. Keep it affordable. And, you know, hopefully it'll still look very much more expensive. And I know the Paris theme is really in right now. Everything Paris is... Oh, that's too similar. Let's see. Let me take one of these. Everything Paris seems to be very popular right now, and it's very pretty. So I just think that adds just a little interest to your frame. Looks really cute. couple more here and we're done. It's a real quick project. I think it'll look really pretty, especially if you know you have a lot of your Paris themed items or whatever that you decorate with. And I just needed something that was a little actually I was looking for something <clears throat> excuse me that was a little more springy to hang up in place of you know I did the Christmas pictures and stuff similar to this frame. And, you know, all that I took down, it looks very blah in the house after Christmas and Easter is over, after you get rid of all your decorations. So that is it. That is my project. I'm going to go ahead and hang it up on the wall so you guys can see what it looks like hanging. Alright guys, so here it is hanging up on the wall. I think it looks really, really pretty. I actually think this one is going to be going into my bathroom. Um, I think it will look really cute in there with the colors. And, uh, yeah, real simple, easy project. Like I said, you could do the frame a different color if you like. But I just thought the bag was absolutely gorgeous with the Eiffel Tower and the, the stamp marks and the flower. There's just a lot of detail in there, and there's a lot of words written in things if you really want to get into it and look at it. And, um, yeah, so I thought it would make a really pretty picture, and I absolutely love it. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this project. Have a great day.